Cheers, dear. Cheers. We are talking today about the Edison Nouveau Premier Summer 2019 Edition. Limelight. Limelight. And it is a... I'm trying to think of the right way to say it. Polarizing? It's a, it's a, yeah, it's polarizing. We went out there a little bit on this one. Yeah, the beauty, and we've talked about this before, with the seasonal Edison premieres, it's our pen, and seasonal allows us to take some risk. Absolutely. So if it flops or it's not popular, then it's over, and then we'll do something next season. And yep. if it's really popular, we keep trying to make more. Um, if it's really popular, then sometimes we bring it back as a regular edition several years later. This is a riskier um, material. I mean, we've been wanting to do a yellow or a green for quite some time. We've done we a have. green before. We've never done a yellow. There's a yellow I really like, but we couldn't get enough, couldn't get enough uh, quantities. It. This was suggested by Brian Gray. Um, the official name, I guess, of the material was like sliced avocado, I guess, because it's, it's kind of like seeing the inside of the avocado along with the, you know, dark green outside of an avocado. I think it's pretty fitting. I mean, that, yeah. So... <laughs> Do you want to talk about like what we're toying with for a while? So, yeah, we can. My brainstorm was to actually do a multicolor. We it didn't end up going with this, but I thought like, you know, just as a prototype, maybe we could like take the grip, like the brown grip or something <laughs> like that and make it like the avocado pit and like really lean hard into the avocado so thing. So you'd open it up and you'd have a brown Pit grip. It was universally shot down around <laughs> the office. I like, was like, it's a creative idea though, it's right? Creative, God. But ugly. Um, I mean, not this exact brown, whatever. Right. It's fine. With the silver nib. It's fine. Yeah, it was proof of concept. We're like, when, oh. when everybody is raving about it and they're like so wanting to bring it back as a regular edition, maybe we'll do that. I don't well, know. you know what? You can get a cappuccino and you can get a limelight and you can create your own. <laughs> you technically could Franken. Franken avocado, your own pen if you want to. But so this um, <laughs> this material, so we went a little lighter with the quantities because a I didn't think it'd be as successful as some other colors um, because I just knew it wasn't as universally appealing. Sure. I knew there would be a strong group of people who are like, "This is my pen. I must have this." Um, and this but we pen went, is for you all. We went a little lighter, and then there were some issues with the. Um, so, uh, some of the material itself, like some waste that they couldn't use or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's actually pretty limited quantities. I don't know yes. if it'll make it the whole summer. Although the nice thing is we still have some of the spring mm -hmm. and we are in the process of cycling out the regular edition. So there's a lot of premieres to choose from right now mm -hmm. should this not make it all the way to fall. And honestly, we kind of timed it that way because we knew we'd be turning over the regular edition. We were like, okay, since we're having other new premieres, we could go a little more out there, have a more limited quantity of the summer premiere. And like this would be the time to do it. So one, we're like, what the heck? One thing I wanted to point out: the there is an engraving on here, um, Edison Nouveau Premier 2019 Summer Edition, but it's really, oh, yeah. really subtle. That. Really subtle. Um, I just wanted to point out it is there, but it's not super. Not very obvious. visible. Yeah. Um, I pulled a couple other pens because you know this kind, of, this particular color is really hard to photograph and capture in video. So I pulled all the other pens that are equally hard to photograph um, and wanted to get by comparison. So I pulled some of the other greenish pens that we've had like in the side past. By, side by sides. Mostly they've been special editions because most pen companies are not doing colors like this in a regular edition. It's just not not popular enough. So this was the Safari Neon Lime. Mm -hmm. So you can see uh, the Premier is a little more yellow, a little more olive, and not as neon not as fluorescent. Neon, as you would expect, so given that it was neon. There's that. It's pretty close to the Twisby Eco T yellow green. Um, Which that was what, like although, a little over a year ago? Yeah, there's aspects of it that like matches pretty close. And then like the I'd lighter say, parts of the pen match it more closely. Yeah, but overall the pen is a little bit darker, a little more green yeah. than the Eco T. We're showing you all things that for the most part you can't get. This is a regular edition. This is the one regular edition. You can one get have, this. Yeah. I bl this is the Kaweco Perkeo. I want to say it's Indian Summer, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't have my phone on me. It's a lot more yellow, but it, it's more of a yellow that leans green. So there's kind mm -hmm. of your comparison there. That's more like after the avocado has kind of like been in the fridge for a day. Yeah. That kind of color. And then this is Lamy All Star Charged Green. So it's, it's metal, so it's a little different kind of, you know, shine to it. But the lighter parts kind of match again. This pen Close overall is a little more green. Yeah, but hopefully we're just trying to give you an idea of like, okay, pens you may have seen before and what it's kind of close to. So if you missed out on any of these special editions and you really like this, could be a substitute for you. And this one with like all the striations, there's going to be a lot of variants. Some pens are going to be a lot more dark green. Some are going to have a little more white um, swirled in them. Mm -hmm. um, this one doesn't have as much white, but um, 
you're gonna have a variation. So yeah, that's... but it's but it's different than a lot of the other premieres, which tend to go more swirl pattern. Just the pen itself lends to swirls well. You this can see even in the that, grip, there's like more dark. This green. is more of that sliced look, which is we haven't done a lot of this. So interested to see what the response is. Yeah. So we launched these yesterday. Yep. We still have a bunch, so I think we'll have them for a little bit. But yeah. who the heck knows? Um, it all depends on how popular it is. So we're going out there on a limb a little bit. Hope you enjoy this. Um, be sure to leave comments on your thoughts on it. If you want to see more kind of out there stuff like this, we'll keep that in mind for and futures. Future colors and other things, you know, what haven't we done yet that you would like to see or, you That's know. That's right. We've done like 30 premieres now at this point. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's like officially yeah. like 25 in this like seasonal thing. Yeah, but with the but We've done some and limiteds and some dual colors. It's the 25th one. season maybe. I can't. I don't know. I've lost anymore. count. It's a lot. <laughs> but anyway, leave comments. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then uh, check out more on goodlaypens.com. Hope you have a great Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. And right, right on. on.